mean, everyone's aware, I think, that it's kind of powering the energy transition, the electrification of everything, uh, the grid itself, and, and specifically recently, data centers, at least in the U.S., and I think really all around the world, are going to be a major consumer of copper, you know, with the AI revolution uh, and all the computation that has to be done and accelerated. Uh, so that's copper. Excitingly, we can also access cobalt and nickel. So, of course, those are you know, major components, two of the three most critical components aside from lithium. Um, chemistry typically, and there are alternative chemistries that are emerging and being discovered and developed, but those three kind of remain, you know, the most central. And so, of course, those are always going to be important, you know, things like cobalt have very sensitive supply chains, you know, coming out of the DRC, for example, in conditions that are sometimes, you know, not very acceptable in terms of the, the societal and environmental burden that, that's happening in that supply chain. Uh, so to be able to actually harvest that from waste or from as a byproduct of primary copper mining, for example, in the U.S., in Chile, in Australia, is, is a major benefit.